Oh, he's pulling drag. Pulling drag. <laughs> he wasn't ready. I'm using the Cast King Mega Jaws Elite on the uh, Speed Demon. I'm just literally gonna drop this Livingston lure in here and let the EBS technology do its, do its job. Pulled over, found a little lake, and uh, I'm gonna try and catch a fish. I already snagged my leg. Oops. Comment below, I love fishing, and I'm gonna heart your comment. And also, let me know why you love fishing. Let me know what you love about it, what you like about it, because I like interacting with the people who watch my videos. Guys, welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. You know, today, the weather is not nice. I mean, you got a little bit of blue sky out there, so hopefully it's passing through. But this is the end of the day right now that I'm actually filming the intro. I'm doing everything backwards, you know, because I'm not a normal guy. But in today's episode, um, I'm testing out the Livingston lures and using the EBS technology, it's electronic bait sound. And what that does is when the lure goes in the water, it starts making chirping sounds and it, uh, it attracts the fish. I think this one is wet, so it's actually making some sound right now. So that actually, gets fish's attention when it's in the water. They'll look up at it. And uh, I actually tested it earlier and uh, you'll be amazed at what actually happened. I didn't even have to move the lure. So make sure you stay tuned for that part of the video. I just kind of need this in my life right now. You know, a lot of things going on behind the scenes and you know, I kind of just need to decompress, let out some of this stress and what better than fishing, you know? Like a lot of tell people, fishing is therapeutic. Like, uh, and definitely like if you agree. Comment below if you agree. Do you think fishing is therapeutic? You know, it's a sport and it's exciting, but I could literally come out here, put a foot on a rock just like this, cast, and let every cast wash away some of the stress. I can just hear the droplets hitting the water. I can hear the wind going by and even the cars going by right now out there. I hear the, you know, the sound when a car goes down the street, a wet street, that slight splash that it makes as it cruises along. I can hear that too. And it's all just super tranquil for me right now. You know, and I honestly, I think the rain is going to stop too. That's the crazy part. The whole earlier part of the video, once we started filming, it started raining and it pretty much rained the whole time. Don't listen to these guys who think they're like these all big and bad pro guys or real fishermen because I don't give a crap if you're a real fisherman. What I care about is, do you actually love fishing? Does fishing do something to you? Does it make you feel some type of way inside in a positive way? Because if that's the case, I don't care if you're real like this. As long as you're enjoying yourself and have, whoa, something thump me having fun oh no it was just grass and i got the proof still grass on it but yeah if you're, as long as you're enjoying your life and having fun and decompressing while you're fishing it doesn't matter you know as long as you're not being like cruel to the fish and mishandling them you're you're good to go in my book i i film youtube videos with monster mike and we're always attacked about how we're fake fishermen yeah, I still catch more fish than half the people were making those comments, you know? All right, right now, I'm using the Cast King Mega Jaws Elite on the uh, Speed Demon. And I've got a Livingston lure here. It is the Monster Mike series. Uh, the link is in the description below. I've got my LinkedIn down there and there you can link directly to these lures. There's rattle traps, jerk baits, top waters. So all kinds of stuff, but you know what? Let's give it a shot here. It works, just like that.
Nice fish. Nice fish right there. Gobbled it up. The second it hit the water, the second it hit the water, he crushed it. So uh, let's get this out of his mouth, out of his cheek. Don't flop. I'm helping you. There you go. Let him go back. Beautiful fish. Wow, that was quick. That was quick. Like, I think he chased it, and as the lure hit the water, boom, that's it, that's all she wrote. So the last time I was here, about a week or two ago, the alligator was here, and pulling back up, I'll have to get my other camera to zoom in on him. But that guy is still sitting. He loves that spot right there. So, I don't know if I'm gonna catch a fish because they don't like to hang. Oh, oh, that's a grass carp. I don't care about that. Yeah, I mean, I see like little invasive species of fish, but I don't see any snook or uh, peacocks or anything like that. Just run this across the pipe one time. Maybe I'll get lucky with a rando in there, but does not look like the spot for me right now nice relaxing day it is nice relaxing the one good thing about the overcast clouds is i'm not melting and burning up right now that's, yep so we're just hiking down the side of a canal bank yep brand new area for us never been here don't even know if there's fish but we're gonna try and catch some yep just saw something blow up over here using the little paddle tail soft plastic right now work the ledge all right trying to get it down to about six seven feet down Ooh. Whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> i don't see where these fish went um all this vegetation so i'm just literally going to drop this livingston lure in here and let the ebs technology do its do its job just bring it in and if it chirps and they think it's a bait fish, why not, you know? Look, look, I didn't even work the lure. Dang. I didn't even have to work the lure. It works. I didn't even have to work the lure. So you were right. So the, yeah, the bait fish does its like own noise and stuff. And then the fish just gets super angry and they just hit it. Look at that. Not getting up. Stuck in my thumb today. Wow. But, boom. Guys, the monster mic lure. Woo. By Livingston Lures. Dang, that was a sick hookup. I didn't Ooh. even have to work the lure. Got it. Woo! Look at that. Chomped it, got him in the lip, got him in the cheek, but you know what? Still means I got a fish. Once again, this South Florida weather has pushed in and I don't want to say I ruined my day of fishing because I've caught some fish. What the heck was that? I'm going to say it was an iguana. But I'm still going to try and catch some fish before the heavy rains come down. Uh, oh my God. Bro, that was a, that was a monster. I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> he wasn't ready. I got caught up in the grass line there. So I was just getting ready to pull it out. Yeah, I, I shouldn't pull out so fast on this time. <laughs> there we go. All right, okay. Uh, oh, I'm on. How the heck? On a rando. I was just fixing my line. I got me a Nemo. Hi, Nemo. Oh, get out of that hole, Nemo. I got a Nemo on the lure, guys. Look at that. Finding Nemo. That's a big Nemo, too. These are some flimsy little hooks I'm using right now. These are not the vector hooks. Yep, there it is. Hey, Nemo just went and went home. Nemo found his way back home, guys. <laughs> Nemo found his way back home. Yes. That's not what I wanted, Oops. but it's a, fish. it's a fish. It is a fish. Okay, so let's try this again. All right, so I just swapped out the, uh, the jig head I'm using. Now I got the hook exposed. I didn't, the weedless, I just wasn't hooking up with that weedless. I have a little bit different action on this one. That was a football head. This is just a round jig, black. 
But uh, I know there's a fish here that wants it. So all I got to do is find them like that. First cast, first cast. Oh, he's pulling drag, pulling drag. Hey, is that a bigger fish than I thought? Yeah, bro, you, you stuck a giant. That's a bigger fish than I thought. Oh, bro, yeah. you stuck a monster. Oh, bro, he's big. Oh, wait. oh gosh, gosh. Guys, Brian, Mike, guys, all subscribe. I'm gonna need you to land him because he might be foul hooked. Oh, yeah. I don't care. Yeah, I still got the fish, the, the but get down there and get a nice close up. Oh, oh lightning. that was lightning. Oh. You might want to get down there further away from the lightning. Oh. No, nah, no, nah, I'll be the tall one getting electrocuted. <laughs> Guys, look at this. Rainy day. Woo, fine. Let's do it. Hey, foul hook, fair hook. Still got a fish. That is some serious thunder and lightning. All right, it wasn't huge, huge. The way, he was, he, the way he was screaming that drag. Hey, but that, oh, look at the hook. Look at the hook. Oh my gosh, bent. He bent the hell out of my hook. Well, hey, hey, thank you for the fight, my guy. And that storm's coming. Yeah, that storm is coming. Dang, this is why I don't like cheap hooks. This is why I like Vector. Uh, and I'm waiting for them to come out with their weighted jigs because I'm tired of bending these things. That's it guys, that's the episode for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. You know, I'm doing my best to get out there and get as much content for you that I can uh, with the weather and then filming the other channels and stuff that I work with. It's not easy to uh, get everything done, but I'm trying, so bear with me here. I really, like I said, I hope you enjoy the content that I'm putting out. And if you do and you're not yet subscribed, I'm gonna need you to go hit subscribe and turn on that notification bell right now. That way you don't miss any of my upcoming episodes. And uh, you know, we got giveaways and stuff that we're gonna be doing as well. So uh, you wanna be informed when all that stuff starts happening. But you know what? Until next time guys, keep your head up, keep moving forward in tight lines. Zzz.